what's going on YouTube. Um, if you guys haven't read the title of this video by now, yes, it is true. This week, your boy got canceled on TikTok, man. So let's talk about this. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm part of this squad called the 9 for 9 podcast. Most of you guys are definitely from there. But um, yeah, so last week we posted a clip about how SoCal Asians have a superiority complex and we went into detail, gave some examples and we were just trying to spread some, put a spotlight on this issue knowing that I've met, met many other Asians from other places all throughout versus SoCal, they could be in NorCal, they could be on the Bay, but that just think that they're better because of where they live than other Asians. So we just wanted to have a discussion about that topic. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, I am the one who thinks of a lot of these questions and topics that we discuss on the podcast. And truthfully speaking, um, I saw this topic trending on Twitter. There was many people on Asian Twitter talking about this whole superiority complex. So I thought it would be a very intriguing and interesting topic to have a discussion with my cast. So um, that was like what we originally started with, why we talked about this problem. But yeah, essentially what happened is we posted this clip and there's like a five second part of this whole total one minute long clip where I was saying that basically I was like, oh, like if you're not from California, then like, I don't know, bro. Like some, I was saying some stupid shit like that, but I was basically saying it as an example to basically see, like show that these type of people do exist and like what these type of people would say, right? But um, yeah, like we were admitting that that was a problem and yeah, I was showing that that was an example. But basically what happened was they amputated me. So what, what that means is they took this five second clip and took out all the context behind it and people went in on that five second clip and just made, there's maybe like two to three or four creators that made these viral ass stitches with millions of views on it. And there's maybe 50 other creators who've made stitches about this video and they're just going in saying that we're privileged, we're whitewashed, like we're stupid as shit for thinking that SoCal Asians are better than Asians throughout the world. But I just wanted to come on here and make this video and just rant to y'all to explain that that's not what we thought and that's not what we think to this day. Like we do not think that we're better than anyone. Like obviously doing a podcast, part of it is to part of doing a podcast you have to exaggerate certain things you have to kind of go further than you would to to start these discussions and to just draw uh to have engagement from the uh, from the public to you know just to go viral and to grow your podcast like that's part of it that's part of what doing content is but um yeah we were taken out of context and this one content creator specifically by the name of kimchi cakes um just made this video and it i actually ended up talking to her because I, I was so like upset and just like felt so unfair that i was getting all this hate for a video that was taken out of context so i want to read to you guys what our discussion was we were able to have a he healthy discussion honestly and by the end of it she was able to say by the end of it she was able to say that she you know she agreed she took the video out of context but yeah i want to share with y'all um this conversation so basically it started with me reaching out to her and saying hey i wanted to say i respect your opinions on our video and i'm glad your message is being shared amongst a lot of people that are able to relate just wanted to let you know though you took our clip out of context and we were acknowledging the fact that these type of people do exist in this world and we were trying to figure out why this problem exists and then she said thanks for reaching out i saw the entire clip i took that as that was the mindset of the person who said it and the girl laughing hysterically did not make that context any better was that her intention question mark i don't know but the clip was edited in a way that the delivery and message was perceived wrong and that's what my problem was when i watched the clip i said no worries understood definitely was not the intention this is part of a two-hour podcast so the clips are always edited in a unique way to and any but anyways i hope you sh you know that our entire podcast is about empowering asians and showing them that it is possible to break out of these stereotypical norms and to achieve whatever they set their minds to and by the way no disdain towards you either i'm just happy to have these discussions and hopefully show that we aren't that of we aren't that bad of people although the clip could make it hard to believe seriously though i hope you could check out one of our episodes if you ever have free time to see what we're really all about my bad and, and she she ended up by saying this my bad and apologies if i took that clip out of context i saw it on my fyp i agree that we should be empowering each other and encouraging each other to break cultural norms and a generational trauma i think a bigger conversation needs to be had just not this way i'll check out the podcast tomorrow thank you again for reaching out 
So yeah, basically, um, the reason I reached out to her and the reason I wanted to just let her know this is because I'm not going to ask her to make an apology video, you know? And I am truly glad that there are a lot of Asians who have this, who like have dealt with this and they were able to, you know, feel for each other and talk to one another. So I do feel bad because that shows me that a lot of people have, a lot of Asians in particular have experienced, um, just unfair actions towards them but I think it's very unfair for those people to assume that we haven't you know what I mean because one of the main comments that irked me the most like I, I don't mind people sending me death threats I don't mind people going at me for my acne and just fucking being ugly and shit but like cuz you know I know that shit's bullshit but the main thing that does, does irk me is people saying that we're whitewashed and we're privileged and we haven't gone through shit. We wouldn't survive in any other place. Like, for, first of all, like, we were, we, all of us are not all born and raised in Cali. Like, Tala's been in all these other places. She's been to New York and she, she's been everywhere. Jason also have been multiple places, but me for real, like, I, I've been in situations where I'm the only Asian in the school. I, they the whole school calls me Chino because Chino is like a Chinese person in in uh, Spanish, but like you know I, I like accepted that and I I wanted to embrace that I was the only Asian and um, that's kind of what we were trying to do with this clip just shed a light on this problem and kind of discuss it and, but we weren't saying that we were better than Asians from these other places like I could definitely see how it could be misconstrued and perceived in that manner which is why I do apologize to the people who. Um, who felt offended because we could have done a better job of of saying this mess message in a better way i guess that's easier to understand but i do want to say that if you watched the full clip you for sure wouldn't have taken it in that way and also if you watched any of our full episodes you guys would know we're not about that like i said the kimchi cakes we're truly about empowering asians and doing things that are different from prototypical asians talking about talking about topics that are taboo usually and you know like that's what we're known for and that's what we want to continue to do but now with a situation like this it, it's it's hard for me specifically because it's like there who knows there's a chance that my face will forever be associated with this i I'm, i really hope that's not the case and but yeah we just had a lot of things like we're figuring out whether to respond to this video publicly or not which we actually are going to and um it just feels so unfair to me because really like our our goal is not for this or for this whole asian sh like shit to go down like it just really shows me that people today are so quick to hate just to hate because in my opinion most of the videos now that i'm seeing people don't even know what they're talking about they have not watched the full clip and they just want to get views at this point like if you guys really think about it in the modern world how easy is it to hate on someone or to talk shit on other people it's so easy it's such more difficult and such harder to give a compliment to receive a compliment and that's part of the problem with this it's like it's just showing me that most of these people they're hating because it's cool to hate on the nine for nine um they've waited all this time for us to make a mistake to pop out and say all these things and like it's unfair because there's you know there's so many other people who haven't gotten to listen to us or seen our faces yet and this is their first experience at looking at us when we we are being misjudged and just like we're basically being lied upon you know and it's just so stupid like yes i understand that content can be taken out of context and um i know that doing social media part of it is accepting the fact that people can make their own judgment and um people will run with whatever and make their own narratives like i understand that but just having it actually happen to you is so unfair and um it's, it's just sad. It's really sad. Like, for those of you guys who watch the podcast, you guys know that we've been working so hard. It's been like a year and a half or I think maybe two years almost now of us grinding. We have so many special projects planned for 2024. And you guys know that I, I've been looking forward to this year the most. I think this was our year that we were going to take over. And I still truly think so. But it, it, it's hard, man, having like a, a stumbling, a, a bad thing like this that just you know it causes a, a ripple effect throughout the whole business and all the things we were trying to accomplish like you guys know our clothes is coming out soon literally our launch is real soon and this is like the, what the public is hearing about us currently um we have like these club events planned we have these guest episodes planned and you know we don't want to be like a, a brand risk or anything like that either so it's just really difficult because no matter what we do i know that at this point um 
to put it simply, I think it's cool to hate on the 949 and the hate train is really just have gone has gone so far that I don't even think if we make a response or I make this video so many people will see or understand what our point of view was. But like I, I do really want you guys to know that our intention was not bad and we really just wanted to shed a light on those issues. And I mean, you guys know how it is doing a podcast or doing social media. You have to exaggerate certain things. You have to um, like say certain things in a certain way to draw engagement and to support Megan. Like her laughing. You guys know she just has that laugh, and we laugh about everything on the podcast just to keep everything lighthearted and um, fun to listen to. So it's just like, just like how kimchi cake could say that her laugh was seen in this way that made it so much worse and how like you know just how it's crazy how people could view it so in th this one way when it was really the totally like 360 of that you know what i mean it's just like it's the sad sad thing to see and I i'm curious what your guys thoughts are um i do feel bad like you know the first couple days of this I was really saying to myself, it'll, it'll be fine, it'll blow over, it'll blow over, and I think I was just kind of telling myself that to feel better, because it, obviously, it, I'm a human, so seeing the negative shit does affect me a little bit, but um, it really got, got to me and just got worse in my brain when I saw, like, my sisters were seeing all these different stitches and they're sending it to me, like, different friends I haven't talked to are sending it to me, and, you know, like, for, from their point of view, it's like, damn like what's going on so they check out the full video and they're like what it's not even that bad and i'm like obviously yeah it's not bad at all it's not bad at all but it's still sad to see that like you know my friends and loved ones are seeing me in that way and um you know it's just there's just so much hate guys it's just i i don't know really what what to do but i just at the end of the day i just really don't want this to affect our podcast in the long term, I think we have so much potential and it's really sad for my face to be the face that is, you know, just receiving all this negative attention that could potentially bring down the podcast. And you guys know how I am. If you guys have seen any of my videos, you guys know that um, I'm, I'm very good hearted. I'm a nice guy. And uh, truly, truly, I, I want all Asians to be just fucking inspired to do whatever they want. Like that's my whole goal with this shit to just let to influence people in a positive manner. And um, the fact that people are putting those negative things, associating those negative things with my brand, with my face, is just crazy. And, you know, like, you, you guys hopefully are all supporters and fans here. And I, I hope you guys could share the message, that message with others and let them know that 9 for 9 is not bad. Like, I see a lot of comments from you guys actually on these viral videos saying, like, you know, like, if you guys watch the full clip, it actually wasn't that bad. So for the, to those of you guys who have been leaving those comments, very, very appreciated. Like it means the world knowing that there are people who could understand what our true intentions were. But um, at the same time, there were so many people who weren't able to do that. So I do genuinely apologize for that. But I, I hope that um, people would give us a second chance and um, take the time to go back and see what our true intentions were and what the full clip was because we were acknowledging the fact that we do have this problem so yeah it's just mind-boggling to me that um this narrative is running right now i hope that it does go away soon um i don't know what the steps are necessarily for that to occur but if you guys could help in any way to just share our message and let people know that this is not us and um we really got taken out of context, bro. We really got taken out of context. Like, I never would have thought I would be that guy to have that happen where people make clips out of you without even knowing you. Getting death threats and shit is crazy. Like, I really don't think what we said is even that bad. I think people throughout the world in all these different races, all different colors, think that they're better than some people. Like, dude, that's human nature if we're being real. Everyone thinks they're better than other people. And we're just really shedding a light on that, like trying to address that. And for, I don't know how that got so, like twisted in such a way to make us be the bad guy, to make us be the ones to seem like we're like spreading that message that we're SoCal Asians are like, no, that's not what we're spreading. We're just spreading the like, you know what I mean, guys? Like I, I, I'm kind of rambling going in circles here, but I hope you guys could just see how frustrating it is from a creator's end of being canceled. Like, I don't know, like. 
I don't really see videos like that, but this is really like a look into the mind of someone who's being actively canceled and it's it's hard like there's definitely been a couple people who I've wanted to out like fucking lash out at and uh, comment back to uh, there's definitely been times where I, I draft up a whole response and then I just fucking delete it you know it's because I, I don't want to go back and forth with people who um, are just looking to hate you know and but I just you know I want our genuine people who are there for me and for the a pod our pod to just know that that wasn't our intention and you know um hopefully the people who saw us for this for the first time in this way are able to give us a second chance down the line once they understand that this really wasn't what we wanted to do um yeah i guess this is just part of social media i guess it's part of the gives and takes i never expected this to get this bad honestly so it, it's, it's it's difficult to um deal with it's, it's really difficult to deal with i think one of the best ways for me is to just talk to the camera but um yeah, I'm honestly worried to even see what you guys have to say, you know, because I know once hate gets going, it's easy to just jump on that bandwagon. But um, I would appreciate if y'all give us some words of encouragement in times like this. Um, I've definitely been like praying a lot and shit like that. Um, just kind of asking why this happened. Um, it is our fault. I mean, like I said, I, I it could have easily been misconstrued. I could see that. And, um, you know, I'm going to definitely be more careful with the way I think say things now but it's hard because you guys know like one of the things for me too is like i wanted us to not have to be so pc all the time like it sucks when you see a creator growing up and then once they get big they have to act differently like i know a lot of you guys see that i watch youtube my whole life i've seen that so much so i wanted to stay true to us and be able to say what we want and what we believe but seeing how easy it is for people to run with these nar narratives and create this these narratives it's just like it makes me second guess that so um we might have to make necessary adjustments to certain things on the podcast we'll see but um yeah you guys know if you guys are real ones that we don't we don't want to hate on anyone i almost feel like 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 I, it's like a setup bro you know like it's almost like a setup i guess i set myself up bro fuck but yeah man um i, I don't know I, i'm just keep it at that seriously though i just want you guys to know our intentions are are good at the end of the day um and we truly have a lot of good things coming soon so i hope you guys are gonna stick with us and i hope you guys could ride for us bro honestly like if y'all were like crazy ass fans like i know fans could like support us bro so if you guys can like you know let people know that this wasn't our true intention too like because th yeah this is not what we wanted bro this is not what we wanted we want i want entertainment and y'all know my character on the pod. My character on the pod is to spice shit up, say some funny ass shit, some random one-liners, you know? That's my job, bro. So that's really what I was just doing. And uh, yeah, man, I, I, that maybe was a bad one. But yeah, anyways, I will say sorry to the people who are truly offended. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon with another video. This is a random video I just had to put out. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.